Dude, what's up? It's been a while since I've done a video. Been busy, had a lot of stuff going on. <clears throat> but I wanted to speak. There's a lot of videos out there about how to get your CDL, how to go about it. Um, I will tell you how I went about it, my experience with it. Um, I recommend it. Uh, some people can go straight to DMV and get it. Uh, but in my situation, I, I've been around trucks, I didn't, but I didn't know very much about them. Uh, it wasn't enough to pass a state exam or to, you know, to pass a test or anything. So, uh, I'll get on with it. If you're interested in getting your CDL, especially like, uh, I'm from Georgia. Uh, Georgia is, a, is tough to, to pass. It's, they expect a lot. They expect the best. They want the best on the road. Uh, and I've talked to several different people from different states, and Georgia is definitely one of the strictest that I know of. There's probably more out there that's worse than Georgia, but Georgia is definitely, they're strict on their own. Um, but the way I went about it is I got set up in a CDL school. Uh, it's called Georgia Driving Academy. They got two locations, one in Columbus, Georgia, and they got one in Conyers, Georgia. Uh, they do have an option where you can go through the company. And I don't know about Conyers. I don't know about that campus. I went to Columbus. I can tell you about Columbus. And if you're interested in going through the company sponsored program, then they will sign you up. They're, they're going to do their background check. They're going to do a drug test on you. They're going to check you out. And they're going to check you out some more after you get there. So, uh, but then it requires you signing on a contract for at least a year, I believe. Uh, you don't hold me 100% on that. I'm not. It may have changed since then. But I went about right about four or five about. Back in November is when I went to CDL school, and this is 2020 now. So it was like uh, November 2019 is when I went, and I went on. I was actually able to get a loan to go, so I didn't have to sign, go through the company. Uh, the company that they have contracted through them is a uh, uh, Stevens Transport. I'm I'm not. No affiliate for them. I'm not sponsored by them by no means. I just, I'm just telling you my, uh, my experience with it. Uh, they do have, I mean, from what I understand, they have a good, I mean, it's a pretty good company. Uh, I don't know very much about it. I just know what I've been told. Like I said, I'm not a sponsor for Stevens Transport by no means. Uh, I'm just doing this as, you know, experience-wise and, you know definitely entertainment purposes whatever but uh anyways uh you go through the company they'll pay for it uh you drive for them for a little while whatever i don't know how that process goes i just know you i just know you can go th that way about it um if not you can you go through as a private student like i did that's why i went i, I was able to take out a loan um if you go the private student route, like cash in hand, it's gonna be right about thirty-eight hundred to right about that range, thirty-eight hundred dollars for the three-week course. It's three weeks, and I believe if you finance it, if you get tuition assistance or if you go through the company, I believe it's like five grand or something like that i have to, i don't have the paperwork on me I, i'd have to look at the paperwork but uh it's a little more expensive if you got cash in hand it's cheaper so i was able to do that um the school though um once you get in there by the by the end of the first day maybe the second day you're gonna know you they'll go ahead if you if something's if there's a problem somewhere they're gonna go ahead and get you out of there they're gonna send you home if there's an issue 
somewhere. Uh, I was in there, and I think we lost two or three people in the first, by the end of the first day. And by the Wednesday of the first week, everybody done, it done kind of leveled out. You know, who was going to be in there, was who was going to stay, was, you know, was staying. Um, they pretty much teach you everything about trucks you're going to need to know, plus some. You get you go on Thursday, I believe it was. We went on Thursday. I had already had my permit. I went and got my permit before, like several months ahead of time. Um, I strongly recommend get that permit before you go to CDL school. It just knocks out a lot of stuff, and you just you know you get a little bit further ahead of the pack, the class that you're in. You're just further a little bit further ahead. So, and, and I tell you right now, when it comes to trucks and the and CDL stuff, you're not going to learn all that stuff in just a couple of days. You, you're you going to need a few weeks to learn all this stuff. I mean, if I would have went in there without my permit and had to learn all this stuff in just three or four days, I would have failed it. I would have had to take it at least another time. Um, the thing about the CDL is you got to take, just for the regular CDL, Class A, you got to take three different... Uh, parts of it general knowledge uh, combinations and air brakes if you pass the ones that you pass you don't have to take over again now if you fail one of them you got to take it over again uh, anyways well, um, this you pass then you have to take a uh, a test to pass on to the because it's a it's based on a college deal is they're more or less a college so you have to pass a test on that Friday of the first week you go to the yard and they start you on you know your parking maneuvers for the second week uh, the yard week's pretty cool you get you finally get out of the classroom some uh, I you know I enjoyed that a good bit uh, getting them you know park the trucks learning how to park them there's stuff that I thought I knew that I had no clue about there I mean there's crazy because i drew i've been driving a yard truck at my old job for five years and i thought i knew how to park them i thought i knew what i was doing but you do not know what you're doing uh i did well i didn't i definitely knew right then i did not know what i was doing until i got up there and they started teaching me different ways of like par blind you know parallel parking and alley docking I me mean, i didn't know all that stuff i mean i thought i did but i didn't so they teach you all that. At the end of that week, um, they're going to grade you on your maneuvers. And then if you pass that, you know, then you go to the road. You go to the road, and then they're going to start you on uh, your double clutching. And some of you that don't know double clutching, it's just double tap. It's uh, you tap it, take it out of gear, tap it, put it in gear. And it's it's hard at first to figure out, but once you get it down, it's, it's a piece of cake. It's, it's easy. So, it took me maybe a couple of times to, to get it, and then I I got it down pretty good. Um, you drive all week, you know, try to get in a truck that's only got maybe three people in it. You know, you don't want to get in a truck that's got five or six people in it. Uh, Cause you ain't gonna get a whole lot of drive time. So try to get in a truck that's you know with only three people in it. That way you get more drive time. That's the only thing I can say about the road is I wish I would have had more drive time. Uh, which I the there's one day that we did have a good bit of drive time and uh, that helps out a lot. Especially going if you've never double clutch, learning how to double clutch. It's difficult in the beginning. Uh, it's not bad after you get it, you know, you understand it better. It's not bad. Uh, but like the other two weeks, you know, you got a, a road test exam you got to do for the school. And, uh, you know, if everything goes well with that, then they will pass you, you know, you get your certification, you get a, 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 certificate, a certificate. Um, so when you pass the school or you've graduated the school, but that doesn't mean you've passed your CDL exam, that you still got to take a state exam to get your CDL. So when you pass that, you get your certificate, then you, uh, they schedule you for the next, 
next maybe like sometime in the next week is the first week the following week the fourth week because you do it three weeks so you got first one week of class second week of yard third week of road then your fourth week sometime in the first few days of that first week they're going to do your cdl state exam uh that is you know they, they got examiners out there third party examiners from what i understand um all that's included in your tuition i mean everything's included um they schedule that for you um if if i had to point out one thing about the cdl exam is know the truck that you're going to take the exam on know it very well uh, that was the issue I had with the truck I took my test in as I wasn't quite sure about it most you know most of them are it's mostly the same with all trucks some of them are a little different some of them might uh, I, I wasn't too familiar with the one I took my test in so I, it kind of hurt me on my pre-trip but I passed it all on the first time but I would say this out of your yard out of your maneuvers and your road test well to me, I would put more thought into my pre-inspection and my road test. Uh, the maneuvers are definitely important. You've got to pass them, but you're in the yard doing maneuvers. Pre-trip is a pre-trip is crazy how much you got to know on it, and they do it in different sections. But you're gonna have to learn the whole truck. I mean, you got to know the entire truck. They're going to test you on it. They're going to quiz you on it. So you got to know it. And you could be one of them folks that gets the entire truck on test day. Um, but I I did my pre-trip. I had uh, the engine compartment for me. Passed it. Did, and one thing I will tell you about Georgia, I've heard that other states are different. I don't, I don't know. I just have heard. That's the getting loaded up right there. I'm driving my yard truck today. That's the uh, bin right there. Hang on. Uh, so getting loaded up right there. But uh, anyways, past pre-trip, got it out of the way. Um, did the yard, uh, the, the park maneuvers. Uh, passed the entire CDL exam on the first try. Didn't have to go back or nothing. Um, but the good thing about it, I mean, it's a good school. And I definitely recommend it. You know, you may not ever drive a truck in your life. But in my case, I got, went and got my CDL. I came back home. And I've got it if I ever need it. You know, I've got my CDL. And that's what I wanted to do. Uh, I didn't really want to be on the road right now. Um... You know, I just got a lot of personal things going on. It wasn't best for me to go on the road, but I wanted to go get it, get it out of the way. And then in the future, if I want to get out on the road, then, you know, I can go out on the road. Uh, but that's really all I've got on this. Uh, it's a great school. Like I said, it's Georgia Driving Academy. They got a campus in Conyers, Georgia, and they got a campus in Columbus, Georgia. Great people. Um... I will try to leave a phone number in the description about it. And um, see you guys out there. Got any questions, leave them in the comments. Like, subscribe. Have a great day.